Like so many other buildings across the Maribor CBD, Gattaker's art space has been a part of our history for generations. Originally a port warehouse and now a focus for arts and culture. I'm here today at Gattaker's art space to meet the artist behind a fantastic new exhibition called Urban and hear about their inspirations and the process that led to this exhibition. This piece Traffic Jam is by Wendy Talbot, who has painted a number of the paintings in this exhibition. Wendy, we don't have a lot of traffic jams in Maribor, but um, you've captured one very well here. Can you tell us a bit about this piece? Well, we were sitting on the town hall on our first day out, and um, I, I think I like to capture what's happening mm -hmm. more so than the buildings. And um, yeah, that was just, um, I just was surprised the colours of the cars. Usually it's all black and white cars, yeah. and all of a sudden there was a, a yellow, blue, and a green car yeah. there. I thought, oh, I've got to uh, draw it down. Yeah. And um, that I like to sort of capture more what is happening more so than yeah. the static the buildings, yeah. yes. <laughs> and this piece over here is inspired by Edward Hopper? Oh, well, we started. Um, drawing what well, was over a year ago mm -hmm. and this was when COVID was on and of course Edward Hopper always has isolation in his work and um, I just yeah, thought that very COVID yes yes and um, I just thought that captured the isolation of um, of COVID. I think the back of buildings interests me more than um, the front like the front of the yeah. town hall is beautiful, but I, I sort of like to look around the yeah. corner. Yeah, and it's got really interesting Art Deco features, little yes. features in the concrete. You could just sit at the back of the town hall and uh, the roofs all, all the way around are just yeah. amazing. You can see the brickwork. Yeah. Joe Dancy is one of the highly talented art artists behind this exhibition. Joe, this is one of your pieces here called Three Coffees at Wharf 71. Can you tell us a bit about it? Well, I wanted to, with this piece, I wanted to incorporate my original drawings because they have a, a really big energy yeah. when, when, you, when you're drawing on, on the spot, mm -hmm. yes. So I wanted to work out how I could incorporate them into a larger, larger work. So I collaged them in and then I had to, I had a lot of other photos that I'd taken, so I had to fill it, then fill in the spaces with a, a lot of other um, pictures from other works. The big octopus tend tentacle is um, painted on the wall there down at, well, was Wharf 71. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one was an, actually another one from um, uh, Wharf 71, as yeah. it was then. So um, I yeah, wanted to, yeah, 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 I wanted to incorporate a few things. And, and what I loved was the, the flood wall. Yeah. So yeah, I had to I had to work out how I could incorporate that. And um, this guy here, who was the chef at the time, you know, he just stood there and he was just looking up at the flood wall. And, and I thought, well, okay, well, I'll incorporate that in there. And then the and the timber work in the old building, you know, that was there. So yeah. Helen Campbell is one of the artists involved in this exhibition is, and has is, um, contributed many of the paintings. Helen, this, is, um, this one's titled Urbane, uh, the exhibition's Urban. Um, can you tell us a bit about Urbane? Uh, the theme for the exhibition was urban and as you know, we went out and sketched. So I decided that I would like to do some contemporary mm -hmm. style work um, rather than just copying what yeah. I saw. Yeah. That one actually came from uh, some scratching on a steel box yeah. in one of the streets. Uh -huh. So um, I managed to make a painting out of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I found it to be the most difficult one to do, but I actually enjoyed it the most. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of colour uh, around mm -hmm. and a lot of shapes. Um, you can see a fair few shapes in my paintings and um, those sort of things inspired me. Textures and shapes and colours. Yeah. Vicki Armstrong has contributed a number of paintings to this exhibition using different medium. Uh, Vicki, these are made with pen and wash. Can you talk a bit about that style? Some of them were done on the spot. Mm -hmm. um, I just use a fine pen most of the time and then watercolour splashed on top as mm -hmm. well. What, what made you interested in these buildings? Uh, it's the character of them mm -hmm. in particular, mm -hmm. um, especially those three. Yeah hotels. Yeah, they're all extraordinarily yeah, unique. They, they, right? they are, and that's yeah. what I liked about them. Mm -hmm. well, well done on a really fantastic exhibition. It'll give new insights for locals and visitors into Maribor, our built heritage and the way 
people of different generations interact with these buildings. It's a, a very, very special exhibition. And, and I really encourage you to visit. It runs until May 2nd here at Gadiger's Art Space in the historic heart of the Maribor CBD.